Okay, this is a uh, care video as well as a tank setup video about keeping two turtles in the same tank. Uh, we want two turtles that neither of which are prone to be that aggressive. So I have a painted turtle, a little baby here. His Her name is Lucy. Um, I checked her claws. They are shorter. So I assume she's a girl. And I have another one named Fern that might be in that little little uh, cave that I got him. Because I'm not seeing her. Uh, she might swim out eventually, but she is a baby yellow belly turtle. Um, and I originally kept my baby musk in with these two in a 20 gallon tank, all three of them. And I quickly realized that would not work. So I went out and this 40 gallon tank was on sale here. And so a good rule of thumb is you want an inch or a, a 10 gallons for every inch of turtle. And so she's about two inches long, Lucy is, and the other one's about one inches. So we just said, fuck it. And we bought the big one. Let me see if I can get a better. Yeah, that's a pretty big tank. <coughs> um, so painted turtles are very, very easy to take care of. They require a filter because they will get smelly. Uh, much like the baby yellow bellies in the musk turtle. They require a basking spot. Oh, there. Here's this one. This is Fern. She's a yellow belly. You can see her uh, stomach. She actually has yellow right there. Maybe I can get her to swim up. Come on, baby. Come here. Oh, you can see it. Look at that. Isn't that intriguing? But anyway, they're going to need a nice basking spot. And since there's two, I have a larger dock. Uh, they will sit on top of each other. They seem to get along. I have seen them nip at each other once or twice, but they haven't actually bit each other. Um, if I do see them, if I see one of them bite the other one, I will put her in her own tank. But they've been together now for quite a while, and they've been getting along just fine. Now, especially now that they have enough room, um, it's not that likely you're going to get a fight uh, in a tank so big. So definitely, if you are going to keep two turtles in the same tank, you need to calculate, okay, each of them is going to need at least 10 gallons per the turtle. So that's at least a 20-gallon tank, but that isn't, maybe two of these in a 20-gallon would be fine, um, considering they're about an inch long right now. Um, but I would really recommend just saying, fuck it. I'm buying the bigger one because you're going to need it eventually. And I actually got this. I don't know if I just said this. I got this 50% off. Uh, $53 total. Not bad at all. And we got that heat light set up. If this thing will sit straight. Yeah, damn it. There. There. Perfect. All right. Um, I like the look of that filter. I think it's almost like a little waterfall. Uh, but what these turtles eat, they eat uh, turtle pellets that you need to have dusted with calcium um, every, uh, I believe it's every week, maybe it's every two weeks, I'll have to look that up. Um, and they eat a variety of different bugs and plants, uh, as well as baby fish, or you could feed them. Uh, I had a turtle that I used to feed raw meat, but you're not supposed to do that. Um <laughs> But like uh, kale, lettuce, the tops of carrots, uh, clovers, they will eat those. Um, now you need uh, bugs are, so far, Lucy over there, the painted turtle, she loves mealworms. Whereas this one down here really likes that krill. So I will feed them krill, shrimp, 
Uh, I have a Repto Mini thing that has krill and shrimp in it as well as little pellets. I will feed them plenty of pellets. They do not need protein every day. You actually don't want to give them protein every day whatsoever. Um, but right now to make sure that they're eating, I have been because I don't know, I'm a bad parent. <laughs> it's just, uh, I can't sit there and watch my turtle starve. I saw online someone said, when the turtle gets hungry enough, they'll eat, but that doesn't work like that. I'm not going to not feed it for a week. It's a baby. The babies eat more than the adults do. If you can believe that for how small they are, um, which also means they are going to be using the bathroom quite a bit. So it would not be a bad idea in a tank this big for me to maybe get two filters. However, I do not want too much, uh, too much of that pulling going on in the water because it's, it's going to catch all their food. But Lucy here, this one, she's begging. She knows that you can go to the bottom of the filter and find yourself some food if you wanted to. Um, she's pretty smart. The other one is still kind of getting used to its new home. I got this yellow belly for about $20. Um, oh, she gonna go in the cave? It hasn't gone in the cave yet. Ah, oh, damn it. I haven't seen them use it. I've spent 40 fucking bucks on this thing. <laughs> see, here, they, see, they get along pretty well, these types of turtles do, from my experience. Uh, you don't want to keep a snapping turtle with any other turtle for obvious reasons. You don't want a spiny soft shell with a different turtle. And if Lucy was any bigger, I would not put Fern in there with her because that would just be too much of a size difference and too much of a risk of having Lucy maybe try to eat her. And I need to make sure, as well as any person doing this, would need to make sure that uh, the bigger turtle does not see them put the other turtle into the water because they will associate your hands with food. So they might think, oh, this is food for me, and they just might be too um, too concentrated on the idea that they don't even realize, hey, it's just another turtle. <laughs> even though they've been together for a while and they are getting along, you just want to take extra precautions if you're going to keep them in the same tank. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty safe to do if you have the right kinds of turtles. That's a big um, thing. Like I said, no spiny soft shells, no uh, snapping turtles kept in with these guys. Um, as well as I don't think you would want to keep a mud turtle in here because they have those pointy beaks. Depending on how big, if it was a baby, I'd say it would be fine. Uh, but you don't want anybody biting off any tails or biting off any uh, hands. Um Oh, she's eating. And the, uh, I did originally have my baby musk turtle in here. Maybe about the size of a, uh, about the size of a quarter. And I was too worried about Lucy biting on her little feet that I, uh, gave her her own tank over there. So that's the setup we got. Um, but yeah, care isn't too bad. You need to clean the tank every week, or no, I'm sorry, you want to change the water every week and clean it at least every two weeks, but you want to do a, at least a half a water change, if not a whole water change every week, um, and then scrub everything down every two weeks, you gotta scrub all the decorations, you gotta scrub all the rocks, you gotta, God, it's a pain in the ass, <laughs> and this thing takes so long to fill, I don't have a hose in my house or anything like that, it's just ridiculous, <laughs> Um, oh, there's my cat. I better go feed her. But yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else one would need to know. Um, yellow bellies, they both like the water a little warmer. Um, and at night, you definitely want to shut this off so they can sleep. If you choose to, you can get a, uh, one of these heat lamps, like a nighttime heat lamp, like I got over here. Um, and that's really useful. Because it will help, they'll still get to sleep fine, but it'll keep their tank warm. It's not too cold out right now, and if this is on all day, I don't think it's going to get bad. I just put my hand in there earlier, and it's still really warm, so I'm not too worried about that. But uh, So yeah, 
that's pretty much all you need to know. Um, they will also eat crickets and uh, mealworms. They'll eat grasshoppers, moths, um, pretty much any kind of bug that you feed them. Uh, like I said, don't give them protein every day. It should be every few days, but if they absolutely won't eat pellets, they gotta eat something. You know, it's unethical to starve your turtle waiting for them to eat the shitty food that you're trying to give them. Um, they know their bodies just like we do. Um, if their body's telling them not to eat something, they're not gonna eat it. Uh, and I think they might be able to tell that these pellets may be manufactured because she just, she will eat anything, but she's pretty picky about those pellets. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> But yeah, thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, if anyone has any questions, you can comment. If anybody likes these turtles or has one of their own and has some tips for me, maybe something I said wrong, uh, just let me know and I will edit it in the description or make a different video. So, thank you.